The universe likely began with a massive Big Bang about 13.7 billion years ago, a moment that reshaped the cosmic sky forever. But scientists still ask what triggered that giant explosion and why it occurred in the first place. Physicists have spent years staring into the GALAXY, trying to solve the mystery behind the universe's sudden birth. The Big Bang theory is still the most widely supported explanation, backed by space data and complex observations. Thousands of researchers studied it using data from satellites, missions, and mind-bending mathematical models. The consistent evidence continues to support the Big Bang as the leading idea for how our universe came into being. The theory says dark energy is more common than visible matter, shaping the cosmic framework around us. This dark energy behaves like an anti-gravity force, pushing space outward in a never-ending expansion. As technology improves, science pushes beyond visible stars to reveal new truths hiding in deep space. Old beliefs often get shattered by new discoveries, transforming our understanding of the cosmic canvas. What scientists thought was certain gets rewritten by fresh observations, changing the universal lens. The physicist Michio Kaku has advised rethinking the Big Bang theory in light of recent space explorations. The James Webb Telescope discovered 750 galaxies that don't match our previous expectations. These new galaxies offer a surprising look into how the universe may have evolved over time. Even experienced astronomers are stunned by what the Webb Telescope has captured in its powerful images. It's now challenging the very core of the standard model that scientists trusted for decades. The telescope has taken stunning photos showing countless galaxies glowing across the cosmic horizon. These images look like colorful gems, floating through the infinite blackness of space. People admire their beauty, but scientists see them as puzzles that don't match past beliefs. The galaxies look much smaller and smoother than scientists predicted, shaking the foundation of the Big Bang model. Their compact form and ancient age don't agree with earlier views of the early universe. This discovery has caused intense concern among cosmologists, stirring debate in academic journals. If these galaxies are real, they don't fit into the traditional framework of the Big Bang. These findings could completely redefine how we understand the universe's beginning. For decades, the Big Bang has been our trusted model, stating everything began from one tiny point. But now, James Webb shows galaxies that are too smooth, too many, and too far along for that timeline. Compared to Hubble, Webb finds galaxies two to three times smaller, raising questions about the original model. The standard theory says distant things should look larger because of optical effects, but the telescope shows the opposite. These galaxies appear orderly and neat, lacking the expected chaos seen in young galactic structures. Instead of being misshaped or tangled, they're surprisingly smooth, which scientists didn't expect in early space. According to the timeline, galaxies from that age should show disorder due to cosmic collisions. But they don't, forcing scientists to rethink the process of galaxy formation. The Big Bang suggests that all matter came from a single, incredibly dense singularity. Einstein's theories support the existence of such a hot cosmic point, where pressure was beyond imagination. All energy and mass were packed into a space smaller than an atom, starting the cosmic fireball. The temperatures were extremely high, sparking the universe into rapid expansion. This growth stage, called cosmic inflation, stretched space faster than the speed of light. It scattered matter across the void, shaping how galaxies formed in every direction. After inflation slowed, the universe continued expanding at a steady pace, which we still measure today. Scientists study this using redshift, watching how light from distant objects stretches as space grows. This stretch makes galaxies appear as if they're moving away, like echoes in a cosmic mirror. At first, matter was too compressed for atoms to form, making the universe extremely unstable. Eventually, 
particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons began to form, building the early structure. This process, known as nucleosynthesis, was vital to laying the foundation of the universe we see today. Scientists had expected early galaxies to be messy due to collisions, but Webb shows highly organized shapes. Finding spiral galaxies so early challenges our old assumptions about cosmic evolution. If they didn't merge, they might have started out large, not formed from small fragments as believed. This goes against the idea that small galaxies collided over time to create the giants we see today. If early galaxies were never small, then our galaxy formation model needs a complete update. The expected optical illusions from an expanding universe aren't showing, raising major doubts. These galaxies should look stretched due to expansion, but they don't, surprising theorists. Their placement and age don't line up with the traditional Big Bang timeline, forcing a rethink. Thanks to infrared filters, the James Webb Telescope can see faraway objects with clarity. By analyzing color shifts, scientists can now estimate galaxy ages more precisely than ever before. But the new age results disagree with what old models predicted about the growth of cosmic structures. If the current data holds up, we may need to rewrite the beginning of everything we once thought we knew. The idea of a single bang might not be the final answer, and the truth could be much more complex. With every discovery, we get one step closer to solving the mystery of the cosmos. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.